Welcome back. So now we're going to start working on the, uh, the hands of the clock. Uh, before we get started on that, um, I want to go ahead and make sure all of my clock face is locked. So I'm going to select the whole thing, go to Object, choose Lock Selection. So now I can't uh, accidentally move the clock around while I'm trying to create my clock hands. So what we'll do to create clock hands, we're going to use a pretty simple tool. We're going to go to the Shape Palette and we're going to choose the Rectangle tool. What we'll do is we'll go to the center of the clock and we're going to hit the, uh, the Option key and uh, the Shift key and we're going to, not the Shift key, just the Option key and we're going to drag down and create a hand. We're going to start off with the minute hand, uh, the approximate length and width that we require. So I'm going to go with that. Now, not a big fan of that color. We're going to change that color. We're going to go to the color palette and we're just going to choose black for now. So now we have a black uh, rectangle with uh, no stroke. A black filled rectangle with no stroke. So the next thing we want to do is make sure we've selected that rectangle and we're going to click and shift and we're going to drag that rectangle up so that's almost to the 12 but not quite that far. Um, and the reason for that is we're going to we're going to alter this rectangle to ink to to create a point that uh, so it looks more like a clock pointer. Notice I have this a bit of overhang here uh, from the center. That's pretty standard with a, an analog clock. Um, I'm just going to go with that. If you didn't want that, you could shrink that up and just make it so that it ends at the center. I'm not going to do that though. So. To create the point, uh, to do that, you need to use this pen nib tool here. And I'm going to zoom in uh, to the top. And we're going to get the pen nib tool. And what we'll do is we're going to place a point right at the intersection of the guide and the top of the rectangle. If you click, you should see a blue you can barely see it there, a blue dot. Now, with that blue dot there, you click on the white arrow key, which is the direct selection tool, hover over it, the blue dot, click on it, and then drag it up. Direct selection tool, take two. Okay, so to create this point, what we're going to do is select the, uh, the, the, the rectangle. Now you have to select the rectangle for this to work. Um, and then go to your pen nib tool while it's selected. And go down to the point where you're intersecting the top of the rectangle with the, and the guide. Then you click and place an anchor point there. Now you can use the white arrow, the direct selection tool, and you can click on that anchor point and drag it up. And notice how it makes a sort of steeple. Make sure it stays centered and let go. And now you've changed the, the top of that rectangle so that it looks a little bit more like a hand. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that. So we're getting there, but it's still a little bit boring. Let's try to make some changes to give it some visual interest. So one way we can do that is we can taper this hand. And to do that, we're going to bring in the, uh, the triangle, top of that triangle, uh, taper it in by clicking on, using the, the direct selection tool, we're going to click on one anchor point. And we're going to use the arrow key to precisely locate that point over 15 uh, spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to do the same on the, uh, the right side. Notice how the uh, anchor point turns blue when we do this. That's important. Okay, now I'm going to tap on the uh, left arrow 15 times. So now we should have a sort of an obelisk shaped uh, hand. Um, I think I like the way that looks. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, 
drag this thing off of my clock and or drag a copy of this off of my clock so I can start working on the uh, hour hand. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to select that object, click and hold, shift and option, and then drag that thing off to the side. We're going to use this later, so I'm just going to leave it there. The next step is to take this uh, minute hand and let's make an hour hand out of it. And that's pretty simple to do. All we really need to do is make this a little bit shorter. So I'm going to I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to use my black arrow and I'm going to click that top anchor part and notice how it changes to an up and down arrow. Click and just drag that down. That shrinks the shape down to about the size I need it to be. And uh, some of the, sometimes these things are a little bit fatter. Uh, the, the, the hour hand is a little bit fatter than the minute hand, so we can make that change. Uh, to do that, you need to use the white direct selection arrow uh, and then drag over the two anchor points on the left side of our hand. That selects this anchor point and that one. And if you do that, you can tap one, two, three, four, five, the arrow to move that side over a bit. And we're going to do the same thing to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And now we have a slightly wider minute hand. So I'm going to zoom out again. And I am going to select this. And I'm just going to, oops. I'm just going to drag that off the screen. Now we need to make the minute hand. So I'm going to select our original, not the minute hand, the second hand. I'm going to select our original minute hand. I'm going to make uh, click uh, Option Shift and I'm going to drag a copy of it back to its original position. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did to fatten up this uh, this hour hand, I'm going to uh, make this hand a little bit skinnier for the to be the second hand. So I'm going to zoom in and let's choose the white direct selection tool and we're going to click and just drag over the two anchor points that we want to affect. And I'm going to tap in about 10 times. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now we have maybe 15. There we go. We have a nice skinny second hand. And because I want a little visual interest uh, in my second hand, I'm going to select that and I'm going to change that color to white. Make sure I've got no stroke. I don't. Good. So now I will drag, shift drag this off of my clock face. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now we have our hands and our clock. The final bit for the clock face is going to be, uh, well, maybe not the final bit, but the last physical object is going to be a center hub uh, to sort of tie those hands together. It adds a little bit of visual interest and kind of finish the, finishes the clock off. So again, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. I'm going to hit the option, click option shift, and we're going to drag out and make not too big of a circle. Now. I don't want it to be white, so what I'll do is I'll go over to this color palette and I'm going to choose something that's a little more, whoops, a little more interesting looking. Let's go for a gold. Make sure there's no stroke. There is not. Good. And then I'm going to shift and drag that off. Okay. So our final step here is to create the shine, which I'll do in the next video.